Host Nora McInerney is back for season two of The Head Start, Embracing the Journey, a podcast from Ruby Studio and Abvi. In each episode, Nora has real conversations with real people living with chronic migraine to see how they took action to understand this disease. So jump into the conversation for season two, a show that creates a little more space for empathy and understanding in such a complicated world. There shouldn't be so much hesitation around asking questions and asking for help. So don't wait. Join the Head Start Embracing the Journey and learn a little more about life with chronic migraine. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows that these are all the things that you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. If you're looking for a new job this summer, have you considered using a recruiter? Your local Express Employment Professionals team is your one connection to endless job opportunities. With just one application, they can help you find a job at a company that fits your requirements. And as always, job seekers never pay a fee. Visit ExpressPros.com. To find the location near you, visit ExpressPros.com and reach out. Whether you're looking for contract work or a full-time position, let Express help. All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting banana boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. Uh. Be kind to joy. Laugh a lot. BK. BK. Be kind to joy. Laugh a lot. We cast a roll thing. Little food for your soul thing. Life ain't always pretty, but hey, it's pretty beautiful thing. Laugh a little more thing. Tight, tighten up your core thing. Said EK, you're kicking it with four things. With Amy Brown. All right, I got my friend Meredith here, and she is the owner of Pure Sweat and Float in Nashville. But there's multiple locations, right? How many do you have? I have two, and I have have four more on the books, but they're growing nationally. So Portland, Utah, Iowa, Washington, D.C. Actually, my GM actually left and is opening one there. So it's definitely on the rise, and people are just all into health and wellness. Yes, and when I first heard of floating, I did not know what that meant. And I, I had heard conversations about how certain athletes did it or certain podcasts that I listened to that people that love to, you know, do really awesome things to their body that I felt like nobody else would have access to because like maybe they have a lot of money or they just have you know access to it or the resources or a friend that has a place. So I love that this sort of stuff is becoming more readily available for people and popping up all over, but I had never floated before because I just, I was like, I don't even know what that will do for me, but I have gone and I have floated and I have been to your studio and I want you to describe to people what it's like, and then what are the benefits of floating? So if someone sees this in their town or maybe they're vacationing in Nashville and they want to treat themselves to a little spa day, what are the benefits and why are people floating? Yeah, I have two different types. I have a pod and then I have a room, but they're basically the same concept. They're around a thousand pounds of medical grade salt. We check the salinity, you float in there like completely effortlessly. You can let all your your muscles go, your spine sometimes is going to pop. It helps with any inflammation in your body. That's why so many athletes love to do it. 
it helps with cortisol levels, brain functioning. We get kids in that have concussions sometimes after a sports activity and the doctor will send a prescription into us telling them that they need to do some floating. I mean, it helps with organ function. So it has a host of benefits, but really the main thing is we are so busy today in society. And I mean, think about our kids growing up in this this world today with the stress levels that are, are at an all-time high. And this really like kind of centers you, helps you meditate. Artists do it for creativity. People do it for, you know, corporately for ideas that they want, you know, to grow their company. It just really kind of like pulls you into yourself. And that's why it's important to do it by yourself. I mean, we'll allow people to do it together if they really want to do it as a couple. But so many times it's really just about you getting in there and getting more in a meditative state decompressing and just taking all that noise away in your head that I know I have every single day and I know you do too going on. So it's got a host of benefits and it helps people sleep at night because of the magnesium that your skin absorbs, which is our largest organ. We get pregnant women that come in, especially late in their trimester because they're miserable from, you know, all the weight that's on their body and their, their joints and muscles. We get people in there with knee problems. I mean, it's really for, I'd say my studios are probably, there's something for everybody. You know, when I'm asked about demographics, I'm like, I kind of can hit almost every one of them because they all have such, you know, incredible benefits. Well, so what made you even get into this? Well, actually, it had to do with anxiety. I had a bad marriage years ago, and I started having panic attacks. And um, I was on medication, and just kind of got through it and everything was fine. And then all of a sudden when I was here, I was in Mississippi, I was here and they started triggering again. And I was just kind of in la-la land on my medication and my kids were like, hello, you know, I just wasn't present. So I started looking up other modalities outside of Western medicine and I came across floating. So once I did it, I wasn't, you know, cured overnight or anything because it's a practice, but it definitely helps you decompress because anxiety is just a lot of, you know, stuff going on in our head. So then I came home to my husband and I said, oh my God, I love this. And this, there's nothing like it in Williamson County. And my kids were getting older. So I was thinking, you know, maybe this is my next phase in life. I I really wanted to have a purpose and I really wanted to be doing something that helped people. And it wasn't just, you know, something off the cuff. So Corey thought I was crazy and we started digging around into it. So we, opened the first one in Franklin. And then we opened the second one three weeks prior to COVID. So that was, you know, a little challenging. But we made it. Yeah, made it we to made the it. other side. We yeah. made it. And then we have, you know, a few others planned around the area. Yeah, it's exciting. And it's, I love that everybody's so into health and wellness and taking better care of themselves. And then the more widespread it gets, the more, you know, affordable everything will get for everybody. And you can use, you know, your insurance card, your HSA and FS, FSA, you know, if you have that. So yeah. That's really good to know because I use my, I'm thankful to have an HSA card and I am shocked at the things I can use it for that yeah. I had no idea. So if you do happen to have one of those, just quick side note here, make sure that you check with all the different things or that maybe you even want to try out there, or maybe appointments you already have on your calendar, you might be able to use your HSA card for various things that fall into this category. Because I would have never thought I could have used it to float. I know it's so great because, you know, it has science behind it. So the insurance companies are backing us a good bit, which is great. I, all of our products have the science behind it. Mm-hmm. So um, that always makes me feel really good too. So it's not a just a fad or a thing. It's literally a legit holistic route to go if you want to step away from Western medicine for a little while. I'm not saying you need to. Everything's a balance in life. Yeah. I think that those can live by side by side together because some people might need, or that's what I'm trying to do in my life because I've, I've leaned holistic for a lot of things, but I also appreciate so much of what, what Western medicine can do. And I think that I can use both of them as I see fit for my life. I just had a... Absolutely. I don't know how else to put it other than a psychiatric evaluation a couple of weeks ago (laughs) (laughs) and was given some prescriptions and I went ahead and filled them and I already have eliminated one because I already know it's not working for me. Mm -hmm. And so, and that's okay. And I'm going to try some actual holistic things to maybe 
go a different route. And I, I called and made that decision with the nurse practitioner that I was talking with. And she's all about that too. She's like, people's healing journey in a sense is going to look so different because your chemical makeup in your body is so different than someone else that's going to come into my office and things that work for you might not work for someone else and vice versa. And so I'm trying to find that balance too of when I might need medication for a season and when I might need, you know, something else and how can they live together. Right. And I even I'm getting some brain treatments done and I took all my my new medicine stuff to her and I'm like, look over this. Is this going to affect what we're trying to do with my brain holistically? And she signed off on, on it and was in full support. So I love that too. I've built a team of people that feel the same way. And I think sometimes it's for some people, it's so black and white. They're either totally holistic over here and they have no room for, I can't believe you would ever take anything or put that in your body. And then you have some people that are like, what is this woo woo holistic, you know, stuff? Just take the medicine, who cares? But I love people that can live in the middle of that. Yeah, in the gray area. In the gray I area. I think that is, and I'm the same way. I do take medicine from a doctor and then I also practice my things, you know, and other things as well. I'm always going to, when I go to other cities, jumping in different wellness places just to kind of see what they have, what's new, how do they do it. But yeah, I definitely blend it as well. I mean, we do have some people come in and they only will go holistically. I had somebody come in with cancer and he was doing acupuncture, changed his diet, infrared saunas, and that was all he wanted to do. So that was somebody that was on one one end of the spectrum. And then there's other people, like you said, that are just fully on Western medicine. You know, that's backed by somebody that's been to medical school and knows what he's doing, you know? Yes. So yeah, I think I'm with you though. It's a, it's a great balance and it's fun that we can kind of incorporate things. Yeah. I see how they work. Back to when my mom had cancer, we were on such a journey of trying to figure out, she was typically a holistic type person. And then once she was diagnosed, she's like, okay, chemo me up, radiate me up, whatever you need to do, like I'll sign me up. Right. But there was a point where the treatments were no longer going to be working. They, she was doing a, a trial and we'd kind of reached the end of our of our rope. And my sister and I were Googling places in Mexico or other countries that were doing things that are not even allowed here in the United yeah. States. And when I think back to the regimen, but I mean, you would read these stories of how it saved people's lives. We never made it to Mexico, by the way, my mom. Yeah. Ended I was going to ask, did you get yeah, there? We didn't, we didn't quite make it there, although we were close. And then she ended up just, her body got too weak and she ended up passing away shortly after. But I was... I had already talked to my job and said, hey, I, I'm just letting you know, Bobby, he's the host of our show. And he was very much in support of whatever I needed to do to take care of my mom and my sister and I were the primary caregivers. And I had already said, hey, so if I needed to go to Mexico for, I don't know, six to eight weeks, because that's how long they recommended oh it. Like, it's like, would that be possible? Yeah. But I mean, it was this, these specific juices every day, the some potato soup, coffee enemas multiple times a yes, day. I've heard those. And some people say they have gone and they have done that and they had cancer and then the cancer was gone. Now, would that have happened for my mom? We will never know. Yeah. But also some people go and they do all the chemo radiation surgery and they are healed of it. My mom actually was yeah. in a remission of sorts. It didn't mm -hmm. last as long as we wanted it to. They needed it to last five years for her to be in the clear. And she didn't ever make it to the five-year mark. Obviously we, she battled it and it metastasized and it lasted about two years, but uh. it's just interesting all that's out there in the world and all the different things that we can do for ourselves. And I love that you had something going on with yourself and you tried something and it worked for you and you were so passionate about it and now you're getting to live it out. And I love that you said, I want to do something that has a purpose. Yeah. And your your heart is really behind it and you found that. And for somebody else listening, it may not be opening up a sweat and float studio or a float and sweat. I feel like I say float and sweat. I know, it's a mouthful. The, it is. And yeah, yeah I, I forget know. that's the title of your studios, yeah. the pure sweat and float. But maybe it's something else. Like, what is it that maybe is going to get you thinking about doing something that has a purpose, whether it's on the side or your actual primary career or talking to your partner about, hey, I'm, you know, I just think of how you probably never saw yourself doing this because weren't you a paralegal at some point? Yeah. Oh, gosh. When I, with my first husband, when he was in law school, that's what I did. Um, but then I actually 
parlayed into real estate, which I really enjoyed. I wasn't very good at sales, to be honest, because I was a little too honest sometimes. Corey would be like, you can't say that to people. So I'd be like, you, you don't want this house. And he'd be like, but it's their choice. You can't tell them that. Um, so um, you're trying to sell this house. <laughs> exactly. But when we blended kids and as soon as they got to be teenagers and we're running to activities and then they, we're going on college visits, I really, you know, went into part time. And that just wasn't feasible in that industry. It was too hard because people need to go after work and they need to go on the weekends. So yeah, so I was really at a point where I was like, what is my purpose in this world? And I always felt like I had a higher purpose than just not that being a stay at home mom is not the most challenging, wonderful job on the planet, but I always felt like I needed something more, you know, to give back and to just contribute to the community so it's really been rewarding. And I think that's why I do get excited to open more because I see all the people we help and people leave better people, happier people at our studio. We always laugh about people come in kind of with a snarky attitude sometimes and then they leave with a smile on their face. And I'm like, if that's all we do for them today, that felt good, you know? Yeah. So what do you have a particular, not that you would say their name or is there a client story where or a day or someone like that that's come in where you go home and you're like, oh, okay. Because I'm sure, especially during opening a studio right before COVID, I'm sure there were days where you're like, what are we doing? Why did I do this? Oh my goodness. Oh but my then gosh. you have a client or a story or something and you realize, okay, this is why I'm doing this. Oh, for sure. Actually, it's my manager in Cool Springs and Franklin. She was a client in the beginning and she was suffering from all sorts of things from Lyme disease which so many people have nowadays. And I'm like, that is insane how many people have it. But she started doing it. And then she asked if she could just work part time because she was feeling so great and feeling so much better. And I just was like, eh, I don't know if I want to hire a client because that can get weird, you know, if it doesn't work out for some reason. But I, I took her on and now she's the manager of that studio. And she is so passionate. She embraces everybody who walks through that door. And she has a story to tell herself about how since she's been doing this, she's never felt better. She's not running back to the doctor all the time. She's not on medication. I'm not saying that's going to be the case for everybody, but she's just one that's, you know, a pretty neat story. And she's so invested in it, which is great for me to see. You know? And that's one where it turned into a career for her. Exactly. And now she's full time. She kept asking for more hours and I'd be like, okay, are you sure? She's like, yep, give me more. Yeah, so we've had people that we've helped with thyroid issues. You know, she couldn't lose weight. She ended up losing 20 pounds. She was not cold anymore because she was constantly having to, you know, go around her house with heaters because that's one of the symptoms that you get when you have thyroid issues. And so she's a huge advocate too, and she still comes into my studio today. We have lots of supplements that kind of go hand in hand with it. So yeah, yeah no, things like that are That's awesome. awesome. All right, you got to love a place that makes shopping for gifts super easy because heads up, Father's Day is June 16th and Macy's has got you covered. Their ultimate gift guide makes shopping for the dad or the dad figure in your life super easy. You can shop by price, 25 and under, 50 and under, 100 and lux. You can shop by category, like cologne, watches, leather goods. You can even shop by gift lists. Like if your dad loves to grill, then shop for grill master things. If your dad loves to golf, then you can go to the gift list that is for the golfer. I mean, really, Macy's has thought of it all. If you have a tech-savvy dad, voila, Macy's Gift Finder, again, has you covered with that. Top gifts include Beats headphones, JBL portable speakers, Nintendo Switch, and more. Top brands such as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Ralph Lauren, Columbia, and more. Really, Macy's has it all, so don't be a last-minute shopper. Father's Day is June 16th. Make sure to check out Macy's.com slash gift finder to find a unique gift they'll love. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows that these are all the things that you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. 
Before AI can help your business predict demand, accelerate growth, inform decisions, automate tasks, reveal insights, generate content, you have to trust it. Introducing Watson X Governance, helping you govern any AI as data, models, and policies change so you can scale it responsibly. Let's create AI that begins with trust with Watson X Governance. Learn more at ibm.com slash governance. IBM, let's create. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Something that I've learned in therapy is that goals are really important. Like, it can really help you out. Like, when life is going so fast, it's important to take a moment to celebrate how far you've come, celebrate those wins, but also look forward to where you're going. Make adjustments for the rest of the year. And therapy can help you take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next three months, the next six months. I have personally benefited from therapy in so many ways. I feel like we'd be here all day if I were to tell you all of the ways therapy has helped me out, giving me tools to have in my back pocket for when we need to bust them out, coping skills, how to set boundaries. I feel so much more empowered uh, because of therapy. So I'm very thankful for it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, well, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Take a moment, visit betterhelp.com slash four things today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash four things. Again, you're going to get 10% off your first month. You mentioned Lyme disease and I got bit by a tick the first time of my whole life this year. Did you really? Yeah. Did you find it I on found you? it. It was on my arm. Ooh, and well, I don't know how. I think maybe my dog, Kara, brought it in from mm-hmm. outside. Had to have because it wasn't. When I woke up, I don't think it was on my arm. And some point within the first hour or two of waking up, I looked in the mirror and thought, is that a new freckle or <laughs> mole or something that has popped up right here on my bicep area? And I got closer because it was the teeny tiniest little tick that you ever did see. Yeah, they're teeny. That's why I thought in the mirror, it was a freckle, a new one. And so I got closer and I thought, I think those are little, little legs coming out. And it's had stuck his head in there. And so then I thought, well, I got to get it out, but I want to make sure it wiggles its way out because you don't want to get the head stuck in there. So I went and I got a match and I lit this stuff. I knew, I don't know. I should have gone straight to Google first, but that's probably right. I don't know. I just went off. Yeah. So I got the match and then I blew it out so that the matchstick was hot. And then I stuck it to its butt. And I don't really know that I noticed it wiggled out, but it was obviously still going to be stuck in there. But I knew you had to do that. And then I got tweezers to pull the rest out with hopefully the head not getting stuck in there. And I saved it and I put it in a Ziploc bag. And then I went to Google. And that's when Google said, keep your tick if you want to mail it off and have it tested for Lyme disease, but put the date on it and put it in the freezer. Oh, I've (laughs) never heard of this. This is great. I put the tick in the freezer, Ziploc bag with the date. (laughs) And then I started Googling places that I could mail the tick off to. And I found a place, sent it off, paid $75. They had multiple tests you could run, but of course each test was $75. And some of the other stuff I was testing for, I, I wasn't, I was like, I, I can't pay hundreds and hundreds of I know, dollars just for this one tick. when this is maybe nothing, but yeah, you hear more and more people have Lyme disease and it's crazy. So I thought, well, I just got to make sure that this wasn't an infected tick that then infected me. And so I just paid that's the only test I did. Mailed off $75. Had no idea. Am I even mailing this to a real place? Like who's getting this tick? And are <laughs> Somebody's they- like putting $75 <laughs> per person in their pocket. <laughs> and then they're like, you're good. You're negative. Uh, Do I have any idea they tested the tick? Uh, and did I freeze it properly? Or did I, you know, all the I things. Know. Or when it- when it shipped off, did it, was it too hot? And then yeah. it, I love your proactiveness though. Cause I'm yeah. the type that just plucks it off and just prays, <laughs> you know, I'm like, Oh, I hope I, yeah. I hope I don't get Lyme disease. And it's crazy. All the people that have it, but didn't even see the tick, you know, like they'll be like, I guess I had one that fell off eventually, but mm-hmm. you know, cause that's where they come from. Yeah. yeah. I can see how the pluck and pray. Works. I love pluck and pray works. Pluck I think I just pray. plucked one off my daughter the other day. She had one like on her back and I was like, 
Well, it came, my test, if it was real, oh. if they really tested it, it was negative. So I feel yeah. pretty good about pretty good about it. But I got bit in May and the bump, it's it's like November now. Mm-hmm. And the bump on my arm went away, I would say, in about September. I know in that's se- a and long it, time. And it, and it would itch at different times. It didn't always itch, but randomly it would just start itching. And I would think this is the most bizarre thing ever because A, it hasn't itched in a while and B, I got bit months ago. How in the world? So then I started to think, am I having phantom itches? (laughs) You know how like, do you ever think you're getting a text message or your phone is like, or if you have an Apple watch, you feel like something's vibrating or your phone in your bag and it's like a fan, like you just were used to that stuff. It didn't happen. Yeah. It didn't happen. No, I hear the text message thing all the time. And then of course I'm running to my phone looking real quick. And then I'm like, oh my God, put your phone down. Right. Nothing is that important, which again, brings me back to like, that's probably why sometimes you need to find a way to give yourself that time to relax, whether it is a sweat or it is a float. Or when I got into cryotherapy, have you ever thought about putting that at one of your studios or is it not? I have actually, I've recently thought of that because, you know, with opening new locations, I think what else should I add? Like right now, the cold plunge is very popular. Have you done a cold plunge? No, I've only done the cryotherapy, which is for people, if you're not familiar, you get into no. like this box, <laughs> this, yeah. Like a tube, I, right? I feel like a tube, yeah. The one I go to is fully covered. My head doesn't stick out or anything. And I do cryo pro. So I get to negative 222 and I'm in there for three minutes. And it was very therapeutic for me. Why I started going is because I just wanted, th- some people listen to music. When I first started going the whole first year, I would get in and I would do three minutes in silence There was so much going on in my life that that was like my three minutes to reset. Nobody could talk to me. I was so cold. I couldn't even really talk to myself. (laughs) And so I didn't have some of those thoughts. Like all I was thinking about was I can't wait for this to be over. This Or my brain would just kind of go numb for a second. But all these amazing things were happening inside my body and endorphins being released. And and you felt awesome when you're done. Yeah, and the vagus nerve in my brain. And so... I would emerge and I would feel like a new person. And so anyway, I think that that would be something. And then the cold plunges, I see people like Dirk Spintley does those on the road. He takes like a trash can with ice and he's always posting about them online and he'll make whoever's on his tour with him, like the opening acts, they have to like get in the ice baths. (laughs) Oh, that's great. And they sit in there forever. But it is it is very therapeutic. It really is. And and they have all sorts of studies behind that too. You know, what bringing your body temperature down that that low does for you. But I have thought of cryotherapy because I think that's also a great tool as well. I've done it twice. Um, I thought it would fix my bad knees. And so I didn't give it a long chance. You know, I only did it twice because it was so cold. I like the heat. <laughs> but um, But I know so many people just swear by it. So I need to go give it a try again. I would encourage you to keep going. My chiropractor noticed when I started going consistently, he said, whatever it is you're doing, your back is is better. It does. I still have flare-ups and different issues in my upper neck shoulder area and then a chronic pain that is in my lower back that I've had since my 20s. But I get relief from a chiropractor, but he also knows my back and knows it well. Yeah. And he said that things he was feeling he does a lot of muscle work too. He doesn't just pop to adjust you. He does some muscle releasing and he's like, your back feels different. And he thinks that it was because of the consistent cryotherapy. That's what I think. Consistency is so key on so many of these things, you know, like the saunas are the same way. The more you do them, the faster you sweat, the more you purge. Um, Like you're saying, the consistency with the cryotherapy made your back better. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then I love too with the float. Like I was thinking I wanted to start to go more, which I think obviously if you can go more, that's great. But you also can still get the benefits if you can just go twice a month, like you were saying. Right. Exactly. Because it's still in your body. You know, it's still in your system. So um, yeah. So that's the good news is you don't have to go that often. Um, But you can come obviously as much as you want. I was watching something on a video the other day and this guy went three, four times a week. I thought, wow, the only side effect with magnesium, too much of it is diarrhea, but that's the only (laughs) thing. If anybody's going to wonder what's the side effect if I have too much magnesium. (laughs) I've Um, learned that the hard way with some uh, MAGO7, these pills that I take. Oh, Lord. Where sometimes, I mean, I take them, they do help with sleep. Like you were saying, that's probably why, again, why I sleep well after a float. But these MAGO7 pills, 
sometimes I'm like, okay, I do not, I, whoops, I should have only taken three and I took five, but I really need to go to the bathroom. And then, well, <laughs> yep. I definitely went to the bathroom. I know. And then you're like, stop, stop yeah. now. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I've got stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. What four things are you thankful for today? That's something I like to do with a lot of guests is four things gratitude. Mm-hmm. So if you could think of four things, big or small, like it could be something uh, on a deeper level, or it could literally be the, your favorite drink you had this morning or coffee or book that you're right, reading right. or something like that. Well, first and foremost, you know, I'm going to be cliche, but it is true. But my kids, because they have really hung with me through, you know, divorce and their dad and you know, a lot of stuff with that and moves. We moved from Mississippi to Nashville to kind of start over. So I've just, they've just been my, kind of my rocks through it all, which is amazing because they're kids and they shouldn't have to do that. And they're actually growing up to be, you know, great kids. I'm so thankful for them, especially today as they're getting to be young adults and I can be friends with them now and not so momish, you know? I love that. So it comes full circle. So yeah. Stay tuned with you, you know, with kids. Like, oh, there's there's all the seasons. Um, but I'm in a good season right now with them for sure. And second is my husband's sobriety is a true blessing because, well, first of all, I was about to kick him to the curb. But yeah, he's just really worked hard on it. He's changed. He's the best step stepdad in the world to my kids. And he's a great dad to his own children. So having him sober, he's present and not such a pain in the butt anymore, you know? So I'm so thankful for that. That is such a huge thing. And yeah, how the sobriety allows him to be that, that dad and then even the better partner to you. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause you know, you do it second time you want it you want it to work (laughs) so what's interesting is I met him sober and I thought this is great he's our designated driver and you know and then it didn't stay that way but yeah I'm so thankful for just what he's put into it and it's every single day I don't even know if I could do that every single day Mm -hmm. the commitment to stay sober like that yeah it's a dedication for sure it is but you're you were part of that like if you met him sober and then it it that's a testament too of it didn't stay that way. And then you were like, wait, this is not what I signed up for. All right, I'm like, doing wait, this. <laughs> I did not know that I was going to have to be going through this, but he sensed you being like, yeah, we're done, buddy. Yeah, because so, you can't tell them mm-hmm. to go get help. You can't tell them yeah. to do anything. They've got to do it on their own. And I know everybody in the world who is listening knows that, um, but it's hard not to say you better Right. You, I'm going to divorce you if you don't go do it. Right. Um, but yeah, he stood at the end of the bed one day and said that he was powerless. And he gets on his knees every morning and prays. And before he goes to sleep, he goes and he prays and he does his reading. So, you know, I'm blessed that he's there because there's a lot of people that would give up or not care or, you know, yeah, or couldn't fight, couldn't get over it. So I yeah. am blessed. Those first two things, I was going to say, the first thing and the second thing, I lo- I'm loving these so far. So now I can't Aww, wait to see the third thanks. thing you're thankful for. Well, you know, I am thankful that I have a, a chance to start a business and I do have the backing. I call him my investor, my husband. <laughs> 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 um, that he, you know, gave me the chance to do it and took my craziness with building out and finding spaces and just all the things that go with it and allowed me to do that. So I'm grateful that I get an, another shot at a career because like I always said, I always felt like I just had to do more in life. I was just never settled. I, I tend to get that way sometimes, get real like, what next, what next? And I'm much more type A. I don't like to just, you know hang out and sit at home like, go, 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 go. So I'm thankful that I had the opportunity, you know, to do that and have my next phase now that my kids are older and get to do something like that. And then lastly is probably women friendships. I have found that they are so important just to, you know, have people around you that are positive and loving and, you know, just there for you. And I realized a lot of that leaving Mississippi. I had some just wonderful friends there because I went to college with a lot of them. And we still keep in touch. We still try to see each other, you know, a few times a year. But um, and then the women like you that I'm meeting, you know, in Nashville, it's just so nice to have that connection. And we're so different from men. So it's different talking to a man than it is a woman and raising children and 
starting businesses and all the things that go with it. So I'm super grateful for friendships. Well, thank you so much, Meredith, for coming over and helping us better understand floating and how it changed your life and what it's doing to help others. And, you know, if you're listening right now and you got a float place in your area, maybe check it out. Treat yourself to that. Or if you happen to be in the Nashville area or you're visiting, then you can check out one of Meredith's locations, Pure Sweat and Float in Brentwood and Cool Springs. And I hope wherever you are right now, whatever it is you're doing, you're having the day that you need to have. And if you happen to be coming to Wichita this weekend, I cannot wait to see you in person Saturday night. It's going to be such a fun and special evening. And if last minute you want to join us, you can hit up selectaseat.com slash Amy. Love to see you. All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting banana boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. This is Malcolm Gladwell from Revisionist History. eBay Motors is here for the ride. With some elbow grease, fresh installs, and a whole lot of love, you transformed 100,000 miles and a body full of rust into a drive that's all your own. Brake kits, LED headlights, whatever you need, eBay Motors has it. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, it's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Plus, at these prices, you're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. There's no distance too far for the perfect trip. Hi, checking in for... Or the perfect table. Hey, where are you? Coming! And when you get access to Resi Priority Notify with your Amex Platinum card... Hey, this looks amazing. I'm so glad you made it. And travel benefits at fine hotels and resorts booked through Amex Travel. It's worth the trip. That's the powerful backing of American Express. Terms apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash with Amex. Hey, have you ever used Cheapo Air? For years, and I really like it. With Cheapo Air, you can book online, use their app, or even over the phone. They've got great prices on over 500 airlines and millions of accommodations. They're my go-to for travel planning. And if you join their Club Miles program, you can earn points to save on the cost of your travel. Book on the app, and you get double points. Sounds like it's time I tried Cheapo Air. Call Cheapo Air at 855-247-3279 or visit CheapoAir.com slash podcast.